Lord, bitch, I'm dumb. Look, man, you stupid ass up, man. Give me, man, look, pass the weed, man. Give me the gun, I'ma show you. Look, bitch, I'm dumb. You know, yeah. Fucking law. law, I'm a real nigga, street nigga. What the fuck you mean? Uh, pussy nigga, want to smoke the roll. What's up, gang? You me back with another video. See, we got some new shit in the building today, son. NBA young boy, this Kevin Gates, they sent him a message. You remember? Know? Well, a lot of niggas don't know NBA young boy sent Gates a message in that song he just dropped that OJ. You remember? Know? And um, basically, I think the brother kind of upset. You remember? Know? He felt like. If everything young boy job, I think basically like Kevin Gates probably get a percentage of everything he dropped because Kevin Gates is the reason he got signed, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking like if if you get an artist signed or whatever to a label or something, they get have they get they, like they get a percentage of some they, they get a percent percentage of everything you make, you know what I mean? And Kevin Gates, man, I don't know son, he he know, he he know the um no YB saying no cap saying cause dude making a whole lot of bread right now, son. You better walk on well, if he was popping, let's get it, you know what I mean? What up, though? It's your boy, Crispy Chris, checking in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can know my latest video. So you know what it is. Shout out to the notification squad, man. Let's get it. So we got the boy, NBA Youngboy again, and Kevin Gates. Now, what's going on is, if you all don't know, you know, Kevin Gates, NBA Youngboy, kind of been going back and forth behind the scenes. And for all that didn't know, NBA Youngboy finally exposed the reason why in his latest song. Thinking he get two percent from me, allow him to allow someone else to pay me. Dump a big point up on the CEO now on percentage of United Masters. Tell him hey. So for those who don't know the backstory behind Kevin Gates and NBA Youngboy, that was an eye opener right there when he said that in that song. Because those who don't know, you know, when NBA Youngboy was on the come up, Kevin Gates was already at the top of his game and Kevin Gates was signed to Atlantic Records, where, you know, he ended up signing NBA Youngboy or introducing NBA Youngboy to Atlantic Records where he right. signed a deal with them and up under that he signed a finder's fee so Kevin Gates get you know some proceeds and things like that a percentage off of his music and I guess whatever he did in the game you know it sounded like he signed a bad deal and we hear NBA Youngboy you know speak out about the whole situation about his deal you know many times like a few months ago you know went viral he was saying that he wanted to buy out his contract and you know get his master back but the label pretty much told him no you know, because that's just the way the game is. That's why it's best if you can go independent, you know, and just try to do your best or even try to finesse the label in some kind of way to get a good deal. But, hey. you know, with these times, you know, they treat people like lab rats. So you're not really finna get a Master P type, Birdman type deal, you know what I'm saying? So you're better off just going independent and doing the slow round. But a lot of people don't want to wait and things like that. Or, you know, your situation might be to the point where you have to sign these deals. But when you, you know, under these labels, man, they use you as puppets and, you know, how they weigh with you. So, you know, I'm not necessarily saying that about young boy, but just in general, you know, you just got to be careful, man. But definitely want to know what you all think about this. How I feel about the situation, but I feel like when young boy was first getting in the game, saying like he signed that shit, like he probably wasn't really thinking about that shit. Yeah? He just wanted the bread type shit. And when he really got in the game type shit and he really started to learn that bit, he probably like, damn, man, why I signed that deal? Like, I... I don't, I don't make so much money. I'm making so much money, but I ain't seeing all my money, you hear me? Because I, you know, get, get a percentage of my shit, you hear me? And you know, the label, they be robbing niggas, boy. They be, shit crazy, man. It's best to, it is best to stay independent, but fuck, you know when nigga be broke, you hear me? Nigga be wanting that bread, so fuck. I don't know, bro. When Kevin Gates um, signed NBA Young Boy to Atlantic Records, you know, he but made about him get him a five And a lot of people are feeling certain ways about that, saying, well, if he got him tatted on him and things like that, looking at him like he his son, how you gonna do him dirty like that? Well, first off, I mean, that was weird anyway, so I ain't even gonna comment on the tattoo, but. I mean, this this business, you know what I'm saying? At the end hey, of the day, business, so, yeah. you know, of course, if you get somebody signed somewhere, you know, doing business, networking, you're going to get a percentage. I know, you get definitely don't understand that people. Boys, so maybe that's also what plays into the whole NBA Young Boy and Kevin Gates splitting up situation. Of course, behind, you know, also with the front of Bang and just messing with his ops and things like that. So I don't really know the full BR politics, but it's definitely crazy out there. But you know, I just want to see all these dudes and everybody be successful, man. Even y'all that's listening. So, God do. bless y'all. Definitely know what you all think about this whole situation, though, in the comment section below. It's your boy Chris for Chris. I know. Yeah, I feel about the situation, bro. I feel like young boy probably he he, he rushed the deal because like you know he probably was nigga bro coming out the hood and shit like that. So you fuck you gonna really try to jump on anything and nigga talking about the M, Jeremy. But fuck, Gates really he know that boy, son. 
I feel why these said, bitch, you better get your fine ass lawyer, you son, you hear me? Get you all that shit, you hear me? But it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, you hear me? Real straight again, shit, I get it. I bought a Honda and it came from home. And came from home. Cats up on my body. Don't make me catch up. Don't make me catch up. I'll come out and go. We'll be cool. Don't shoot the party. A hundred goons with me.